G'day folks. And I hope you can hear me um, despite the wind blowing in the uh, microphone on the camera here. That's a fellow I've, trying to, I've been trying to get some footage of for ages. You can't get very close to them. Um, his Latin name is Ardia Pacifica. And his name used to be Pacific Heron. But uh, from the reading I've been doing lately, it's, it appears that the name has been changed to the White-Necked Heron. Which, uh, yeah, I mean, it's apt, but it's not very imaginative. He has a line of black spots down the uh, front of his throat, too. So they could have called him the Spotted-Necked Heron. But anyway, he's quite a large, quite a large heron. Got that nice sort of slate grey graphite coloured body, which uh, also goes to black. Um, long black legs, nice long white neck. Um, they mostly inhabit the interior, but will come uh, wherever there's good rainfall or wherever there's uh, a chance of a good feed, you'll see these blokes. They don't congregate in large groups. I've only ever seen two or three at a time, fairly well spaced out. So they're not very um, gregarious like the cattle egrets and other sort of birds of their ilk. Um, the interesting thing about these guys as well is they have a green eye. So, um, green eyes, yeah. I've never been close enough to see that. I've only read it. But, uh, you can see him stalking along there in that nice uh, wet bit of flooded bit of pasture. Looking for um, pretty much anything you can get. Little frogs, little fish, you know, caterpillars, um, tadpoles any sort of water spiders or water beetles or that sort of stuff. Um, you don't actually see them very much on the coast. And although this uh, bit of um, pasture land I'm on here is within probably 10 k's of the coast, you won't actually see them right on the coast. So mostly inland, but uh, they'll take advantage of good rains and go wherever there's a chance of um, even raising young ones if the uh, if the flood water sticks around for long enough. Uh, as I said, I've been trying to get some footage of this guy for ages now. I took the, um, had the forethought of putting the camera on the front seat of my car as I was driving down the coast here, just in case I saw one, and sure enough, there he is. So yeah, as the, uh, the Latin name suggests, Ardia Pacifica, they will also, uh, you'll also see them in uh, New Guinea, Indonesia, places like that, in the islands of North of Australia. Um, I don't think it's that accurate. Pacific a bit, I mean, the whole east coast, there's you know, the Tasman Sea. You've got the Indian Ocean on the uh, west coast. You've got the, the Torres Strait and the Arafura Sea and places like that to the north. There's not all that much Pacific Ocean around Australia, so. Anyway, I'm being pedantic, I guess. White neck heron's a perfectly good name for him. Spotted neck heron would be probably better. Um, there's not much more I can tell you about this, apart from the peculiarity of the green eyes, which I find very interesting. You don't often see birds with eyes that color. Having green eyes doesn't really help him uh, disguise himself. So yeah, he's a lovely big fella. Probably stands about the same height as uh, Artie Alba, one of which was over here before. So you see them uh, feeding, of course, with the same sorts of birds. I'll just pull back so we can find that. Yes, there you go, Artie Alba. see them with cattle, cattle egrets and um, ibis, spoonbill. Spoonbill's one fella I've got to try and get a clip of. I've only ever seen them at a distance as well. There's two types in Australia. There's the um, yellow bill spoonbill and the royal spoonbill, uh, Platalia regia. I've only ever seen them at a distance or at the zoo. So I don't want to cop out and go to the zoo. But anyway, I've finally got your white-necked heron, 
or Pacific Heron. I'm going to say P Pacific Heron. It matches his Latin name a lot better. Good hunting, mate. I'm just going to take a couple of still photographs. I'll be on my merry way. Sorry for the uh, the uh, jiggling about again. But if I pull back, you'll see how far away I am. There's a wire fence also between me and him, so I don't really want to jump over the fence there to that uh, private property. There you go, Ardia Pacifica. Finally. Aussie Birch Rock. See you later.